and welcome to Web TV. Now, each week we normally like to bring you the latest tech and gadget reviews, but this week we're going to do something a little bit different and give you a top feature on this, a book called I Twit and the top five most stupid apps. There are now billions of apps available to download, but some are pointless and stupid, and that's why two app haters, Dan Lowe and Finta Coyle, were inspired to write a book called iTwit. I think we've got to the point where apps have developed so much that we're beginning to sort of devolve basic functions away from ourselves uh, and give them to the phone, and I think that there will be evolutionary consequences to this. iTwit is an entertaining guide to fake apps, from the totally stupid... So we've got things like eSpoon, which uh, if you've forgotten uh, a spoon or a fork and you're eating your lunch, you can just eat it off your iPhone because it displays a spoon on the screen. Yeah, and it's also got a, a temperature monitor, monitors the temperature of the food, whether yeah. it's too cold or too hot or just right. To the absolutely ridiculous. Conquer Conqueror, this is an app which digitally recreates yes. the, uh, the pleasure of conquers. It displays a conquer on your screen and then you get someone else's iPhone and you hit the two iPhones together until one of them is destroyed. Surprisingly though, there are some real apps out there that have no real purpose. So here are the Gadget Show Web TV's top five stupid apps. At number five, it's iPickup Lines. The app that gives you a choice of chat up lines that you could use on a night out. Go and try some out on me. Okay. If locks could kill, you would be a weapon of mass destruction. Do you have a map? Because I just keep getting lost in your eyes. Can you please make my day? I mean, that's... You could call the police, wouldn't you? At number four, it's Anti-Loss, the app that helps you find your iPad if ever you misplace it. So the idea is... <laughs> you lose your iPhone, or smartphone, Yeah. and then you clap twice, clap twice, and you instantly know where your iPhone is. Okay. I mean, that, 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 is, that is the worst app. I mean, it, you know, it fulfills a purpose, but it's just horrible. And number three is Eye Gouge. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I don't like it because it's medically inaccurate. When you poke someone in the eye, their eye doesn't open, their eye closes. That's the wrong way around. At number two, it's Bathroom Fan, the app that can help you avoid embarrassing moments in the bathroom. Now, have you ever been to the toilet and you're slightly embarrassed about, shall we say, the natural noises that come out? You need a bathroom fan noise to cover the sound. On. You would only ever use it while you're doing your business. Uh, thus, spores would end up on the screen. Yes. Unhygienic. And the number one stupid app is Hold the Button. Well, there are lots of button holding games. This is my particular favourite. Okay. Crank it open. Hold the button. Good. Sit. So what happens? Once. Countdown. <clears throat> one second. So what happens now? That's it. That's the game. You just hold that button for as long as you can. I mean, that is the new Monopoly, I think, <laughs> isn't it? Possibly. 